And the big story right now, Australia have won their maiden T20 World Cup title as they have defeated New Zealand in a thriller of the a final. Rika Roy was monitoring uh, and enjoying that game thoroughly. She joins us. So, Rika, they already have five ICC titles, so but this one still is uh, special. This one is very, very special indeed for the Aussies, for the men in green and gold because this is their first T20 World Cup title and this is also the first T20 World Cup that goes to the Southern Hemisphere because all the other teams, five teams who have won is, are from the Northern Hemisphere. This is also their sixth ICC title. It's pretty special because this has come after a long time of Australia being underdogs. It is not very often that Australia enters a, a, a tournament of this magnitude as the least favorite team. They did enter the tournament as someone who could probably go on, go on to make the knockouts but not beyond, but definitely not win the tournament. But they upstaged all the predictions and tonight after New Zealand made 172 for 4, they just finished the match off in 18.5 overs. Kane Williamson, uh, New Zealand captain, uh, made a fantastic 85. And then David Warner came out all guns blazing. He scored a half century. He was f That half century was followed up by an unbeaten 76, 77 run uh, coming uh, off the blade of Mitchell Marsh, another cricketer who's been uh, in and out of the Australian side because of injury. But tonight was his night. He was rightly adjudged the man of the match. In fact, uh, the coach of the Australian side, Justin Langer, was asked about uh, uh, his time with the Australian team, which has been pretty controversial. Also, Australia losing several T20 series in the lead up to the tournament. Many of their play players playing in the IPL, being a part of the bio bubble. All of those stories will now be put to bed tonight with them becoming the world T20 champions.